This week, I got a very strange email from the BBC complaint system. It said that they needed longer to deal with the complaint I'd made than usual, and that I had a right to complain about that to Ofcom, along with my original complaint. Funny thing is, I couldn't even remember having made the complaint. So I used the reference number they'd sent me, and I found that they were referring to a complaint I had made two years and nine months earlier about a report in the BBC's News at 10, their flagship main evening news broadcast. The report was by Orla Guerin, who was interviewing a Holocaust survivor on Holocaust Memorial Day on the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. At the end of that report, she put in what I considered to be an outrageous line that said, the state of Israel is now a regional power. For decades, it has occupied Palestinian territories, but some here will always see their nation through the prism of persecution and survival. What on earth did that have to do with this report? It was insulting. It was rude. It was offensive to Jews. I thought that this was really a desecration of the memory of the Holocaust. To try to tie one's personal beliefs about Israel and the Palestinians to the story of a Holocaust survivor was just outrageous. And I wasn't the only one. Lots of Jewish people complained, and I dare say some non-Jewish people as well, including Danny Cohen, the former head of TV, and Lord Michael Grade, who now, by the way, is the chairman of Ofcom. Ofcom is the regulator that oversees broadcasting in the UK. So if you've got complaints about any broadcast material, you can send it to them. The BBC has a slightly special status where they actually regulate complaints made about BBC content themselves. And let me tell you, I know all about that because I've made a few complaints in the past about BBC coverage and it is laborious to say the least. It feels like what they're actually trying to do is get rid of you. I like to compare it to converting to Judaism because you have to try three times and they're meant to turn you away each time before they even take you seriously. <laughs> The complaint system, of course, should be designed to listen to what viewers have to say and perhaps to consider that they might have a point. When it comes to Jews, people complain about anti-Semitism or anti-Israel bias in their coverage and their normal reaction is to tell you you're wrong. The BBC said it was factual and it was appropriate to put it in this part of the report because she lived in Israel. But when I spoke to Ofcom on the phone this week to a representative from their press office, she explained to me that Ofcom had responded to my complaint already and the BBC had told me that this email they sent me two years, nine months later was actually a mistake and that this was all dealt with long ago. I couldn't understand where Jews are actually meant to go. When we Jews feel there is a problem in the coverage of Israel or Jewish issues, who are we meant to tell? If most of the organisations that are already there to deal with complaints reject everything we say. Jews have a right to say what is offensive to Jews. We seem to be the only minority group who can't say when we've been offended, it can't all be a conspiracy where we've grouped together to complain about something because we have an ulterior motive. If you ask me, that's anti-Semitic as well. Surely they ought to listen when they've offended so many Jewish people. At that point, Maybe it would be better for them to be a bit humble about things and to say, maybe we got this wrong. BBC rejected the complaints and so did Ofcom in the end. I'll tell you what, I disagree respectfully. And I think it's about time that the issues that Jews raise and our opinions and our insight into what is offensive to us mattered a bit more to those making these decisions.